Well, coming off of Dong, the first movie in the series, let's look at Dong 2, Blood Warrior. I forget what I put in the thumbnail, but I put something cool, like it's a movie about a warrior. Um, Mousepad, by the way, available in the description. Hi, I'm Zeos Pantera, your host of In Ear Fetish. And uh, Z Reviews, where apparently I touch a lot of Dong. Um, these are four different dongle decks. A Quolos, an EDA, E1DA, A1DA. I've got a Truth Ear with an anime waifu on it. And I've got this one, which is the M3 from, what the fuck brand are you? Moosh, mu, mu, Muse, Hi, Muse, Muse Hi-Fi. Put that one right down. Um, yeah, I'm gonna listen to these and then give you my thoughts and prayers and wallpaper in the horde. And thank you for my subscribe star subscribers and patrons for supporting these videos. Because without them, I lose my mind. Plus, they're probably gonna be able to get these in the yard sale. Look at what yard sales are. Anyway, we're right back. Okay, so, just like the last Dongle DAC compilation, we're gonna use the same things to test. We're gonna use EOH5s, we're gonna use the cost KPH40s, and we're gonna use, for some reason, the 8XXs on adapters. Now, I didn't start on the cheapest, I started on the smallest wooden box. Because why wouldn't you start on the smallest wooden box? Who remembers this thing? Anybody remember this? This, this is important. Remember the little, it was a full-size USB, little box with like a 2.5 millimeter output? What was that, 3.5? But it was like a mirror, like it was like a shiny mirror. I still have that power DAC. That was an E1DA, power DAC V2. And it, for, it's still available, apparently, for $59. I remember it being more than that. Same company makes this. In fact, same company makes several versions of it. And I wanted to straighten this shit out because it's... Because I was reading, I don't usually read like reviews, but I was reading the Amazon reviews and one guy in bold letters was like, don't plug anything into this, it's not balanced, you'll damage the amp. And I'm like, what? So I went and I pulled out a Heart Audio uh, 3.5 millimeter balanced and it worked fine. But then I put the regular one in and it's still stereo, so I think it's fine. Because uh, it's like, it's real weird. Because apparently this is the E1DA. 9038D, the checkbox and the wood, literally it's a wooden box, um, is the D. And the other is model is S. And you would think S would stand for single-ended. And then D would stand for like double or dual, or you know, balance would be a B, but I mean, S would be single-ended. And no, from what I've researched, and trust me, I hate doing research, the S is indeed a 2.5 millimeter balance version of this and cheaper. And this isn't just the E1DA. This is the E1DA 6K or the E1DA 9038D 6K. Um, when that stands for 6,000 microfarads of capacitance inside of it, which is a rather high number. So it has a lot of go. It makes it makes the go happen. And I was sitting here dicking around with Inca Steppa from Juno Reactor on these big guys. And then I had on the costs. And the problem with this unit is I'm not paying $10 for the app. There's an app, apparently, called the Tweak app. And it's, it's, it, there's a free version. And then once you get the free version to actually do anything heavy duty, you have to pay $10. And it's like, well, no. And that's what the other unit, the little shiny one did. It, it was all about the app changing what was happening. But it was a USB like full size that you weren't going to use it on your phone. And it was real weird. Um, so anyway, here's what the app can do. You can look at it. You're just going to have to imagine the fire. Because apparently you can change the second and third harmonic values. You could change the master clock. You could change volume settings, filter settings, uh, total harmonic distortion edits. I don't know what the hell that even means, high and low threshold. I, I don't know. PCM master clock dividers. I don't know. DSD master clock dividers. You could change the filter, the thing that I can't hear on anything ever, per PCM setting. So PCM 352.8 could have a concreted or corrected minimum phase, where if you wanted the PCM 48 to have minimum phase fast and 441 to have brick wall, so you could do that. And then you get your firmware and then you get more and more, it's the same thing. Oh, there's a calculator button and more, and then you PC master clock dividers again, again, and again, and it just it goes around and around and around. Anyway, so this, this program has um, 3.8 stars, only 40 reviews, because I can't imagine a ton of people own an E1DA. And one of them is basically, one of the guys screams out, very greedy, besides costing $100 for the DAC amp, which 
honestly is reasonable. He says you got a shitty app that you need to spend ten more dollars, and honestly, that's not re- that's not bad. Honest, if because developing the app is going to be harder than developing the hardware. I feel like once the hardware is settled, you just hit you hit go, and some factory somewhere makes it. The app is going to be you constantly tweaking it and adding features, but I don't think it's going to do anything to help with my opinion on the matter, so I'm not going to go into it. Let's unplug the inc- the incredibly big things and let's put on just just something something light. The sound on this is weird, which is why I jumped immediately. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to go right back to these. Which is why I jumped immediately. Here's some har- harmonic dynathenas, by the way. Fucking love them. Fucking love them. And I'm going to plug in the balanced 3.5 because it seems to work just fine anyway. Boom. I'm going to die. Okay, that was that was way, way, way. It's got so much power. That's 6,000 microfarads. You can taste it in the blood in your mouth. But the thing is, it doesn't sound clear. And that's the thing. I don't want to, like, knock this thing. for Apparently, there's, like, a, a whole back community that I don't want to offend you guys. You guys love this thing. And I was really intrigued by the original, but it was like, I'm never going to use it. Because wh- how the fuck, we're going to plug it in and get a 2.5, well, it didn't make any sense. This at least makes sense as a dongle DAC. We've got a, a blinking LED here on the USB end that when it's playing, it flashes orange occasionally. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be diagnostic. It's got good power. Oh, let's fucking start with that. It's got good power. But the overall tonality of it, it feels very, very rolled off, dull. And I'm not sure if something in the app, maybe I can go in and change the thing. But this is how it came from the factory. This is how I got it from Linsol. So I'm going to review it as such. And it's it's just, it's not making the things I've plugged into it better. Or even reaching where they have been when I like reviewed them. If you're going to sell me, and this is like 120 bucks, I should have checked that price like 700 times. Yeah, this is 129 on Linsol, 129 on Amazon. It's just, I can't. The thing is, I don't hate the way it sounds. It's just very soft. It sounded like it's like a, some sort of weird balanced phase thing where it's just out there. But I don't know if I would give that the $130, like, oh, yep, go spend your money on this. If someone wants to chime in in the comments, if you own this, if you play with the app, if you could tell me what I'm hearing is wrong or different or explain to me why I'm the worst, please do. Otherwise, I'm going to skip a little bit past this. I love the wooden box. I, I literally, I hate boxes you have to keep. Little little styrofoam insert. Just, just is this cutest little fucking matchbox thing. That's why I did it first. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to come back. I'll reference it again if I hear something similar down the line. But we got to move on. This is just, it's being weird. It doesn't come with any accessories. I don't even know how the fuck I got this wire, honestly. Because it couldn't have been in. He must have come with it in like a Ziploc bag or something. I remember. So, Shio, the only one with a waifu. In fact, might be the only dongle deck with a waifu that I've ever had. We'll have to look into that. Truth Ear. So, Truth Ear makes the Hexa. Truth Ear makes the Zero. Truth Ear is new. New kid on the block. Why is this the best fucking one so far? Like, of the ones I've done recently. Because it's 69, giggity, 99. We got a cute waifu drinking with a little mittens on, a little heart in her hands, a skirt. So it's cold, yet she's wearing a skirt because the best girls wear skirts all winter. You do get a separate little card so when i if 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 these gets if this honestly gets sold in the yard sale which is a big if um i'll be keeping that one but the volume rocker high low gain and then dual cirrus logic dax so here's the thing i mentioned very recently in a review of the ibasso dx170 that that has cirrus logic dax dual cirrus logic dax and Burr Brown and Cirrus Logic have been forgotten like a decade ago. It's all about AKM and ESS. Where are these Cirrus Logic decks coming from and why do they sound so fucking good? I don't know. I don't know, but that's what that's what's happening right now because I've got this this is a balanced or unbalanced unit. It has more power delivery ba- delivery balanced and then 
the little volume rocker on the side, you press both at the same time. It either is red and low gain or you green and high gain, and then you can control the volume. You can't change tracks without maybe holding it or double pressing it or triple pressing it would let you change tracks. Also, you can't do it. It's strictly a volume and gain mode switch. The actual unit itself is wrapped in faux leather, and that would be fine except for there is a seam, a very visible seam right by the volume knob. So I kind of wish it was like on the back or on this side, but it's right there, right there. And you know, you have the little buttons here. And so the shortest little dongle transfer, it's the shortest of the dong of all the dongles that are dongling so far. Like this has got a dongle. That's gonna dongle hard. This, this thing's got a little tiny dongle, which I don't hate. Um, the unit is rather large. Like even compared to the EIDE, it's longer and way thicker. Um, it's actually an exposed screw here, which is interesting. Actually, there's an exposed screw on this side as well. But it sounds fucking great. Like I went through the, I went OH5s, I went 8XX, and the, I went costs, and I just I plug all the things into all the things, and it's delivering. And on the hard to drive headphones, you click this fucker into high gain and green, and you you if you max it out. It gets a little thin at the highest of high, on the highest of high gains, but any like, nor like I had the goddamn IMs on, I'm like, let me try it on high gain. Nope, doesn't need it, but still sounds good. So I'm impressed for 69 freaking dollars. Are we rearranging headphones now? Um, I had the cost on low gain, and I had the cost on, cost on high gain, and there was definitely an improvement when I swapped the tips because you can swap the tips in the OH5 from 3.5 to 4.4. And when I switched to that, going to balanced in general was just a, a sound improvement. So, I mean, shit, boy. This little thing is fucking impressive. You get your 4.4, your 3.5, and your little volume rocker and high-low gain. It doesn't weigh that much either. It's not like super heavy. We're going to get to the M3, which is basically a bludgeoning instrument. Um, yeah, you're, you, you're kicking ass. I don't know what to see Double CS43198 portable DAC amp. I'm, Truthier puts waifus on things and then delivers the goodness. Th this, this might be a buy. Like a buy for everyone buy. Like that's, let's finish up the other two because we're, we're going to pick up, we're going to take a slight pro, this is 69, this is 130, this is 150, this fucker's over 200. We'll get to that one and see if it's worth it, because it's a Qualos, and people have been asking for it, so we're going to get to it. Check the timestamps, by the way, get this. All right, I'm going to cry now. <clears throat> so, fucking Muse. What the fuck? I was going to clown on this so hard, because it's just the heaviest thing, like... It legitimately weighs, like if you imagine machining this, not out of like aluminum, but like steel, like that's the sort of weight this thing carries. But it carries it in the music too. I know, that was a big lame, big old lame. Um, this fucker's 150, and we can completely eliminate the E1DA off the table, and this definitely sounds better than the Shio. All right, we're still, we still haven't gotten to the $250 fucking Quolos, but oh my lord, this thing. I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to look at it for a second because I, I just need to take a break from crying. Um, the weight is exception. It is extraordinary. It is a leg legitimately like one of the heaviest port. This doesn't even make sense as a dongle deck. You're going to break something. <laughs> I don't know how that stays in there. That USB-C is fucking great. Um, I love this wire. It's got hella big connectors here. They're hella big. And it's got like a tube with like the copper and the silver twist in it. They look fantastic. It comes with one for, for lightning and one that's USB-C. Comes with the adapter. Uh, I might take, I might keep this forever and use it on my computer. Cause it's just like, I wish, give me a cat. If I, if you just fucking chalk this, it feels like a river stone. It, it feels the weight of a river stone this size. All right, I'm trying to get you to grasp the concept of like, 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 ooh, ooh, light. Ooh, look, see how it floats up in the air? And then you do that with this, and it's like, 
Ow. It just owls you. And it's a weird shape. It's like, it very key fob. We've got a cool little, that isn't a colored pattern, that is actually molded into this probably steel body. The back, just a USB-C, and the front, 4.4 and 3.5 in gold. And then you have a rocker control and an LED. And so the rocker control gives you an independent volume from your phone. So you set your phone to maximum, and then it has 60 levels of volume here. Or you hold these both down, it puts it in line out mode, which then lets you control it on the phone or gives you just full fuck you line out. And then you could hold this, the up side and have it mute and hold the down side and switch between seven different digital filters. I went through like six out of the seven. I didn't hear a difference, that's just me. Um, but oh my God, like it's weird when you're listening to a headphone that you know, like I know and love the 8XX, but I've been listening to them on like a bunch of dongle decks and I forgot what they really can truly do. And this is the first one that's made to truly do that. I'm, I'm just going to go off on like, this is the stupidest, heaviest, stupid thing. Sounds like a full size desktop class A. And I think it sounds like that because according to the page here, it is acoustic charm with a customized amp show the tuning skills. And down here, if you read, apparently, um, more impact, cleaner output, blah, blah, blah. Custom circuit structure uses an ESS. We're back to Saber. And then here, an independent designed op amp designed for that gives enough power from hand. Muse acoustic tunings were applied to provide detail and articulate sound. So Muse is doing something to the sound on this, and I don't fucking hate it in the slightest. It literally is making my full, full, full size headphones make me want to cry like during the Hitman soundtrack. By the way, Hitman, great movie. Um, I never played the games, which is probably why I like the movie so much. People are like, no, you would never fall in love. You would just murder that bitch because he's from Hitman. And you know what? I agree. Thank God I never played the games. Uh, I, I want to put more IMs and stuff in. The only problems I have with it so far are control problems um, because you don't know your volume. It actually says it'll tell you the volume. The book here is fucking long. It's like long, it's long, and all this is in English. This is the other language. Because uh, here's a, here's an entire page in picking the filter where you hold the thing and it blinks. And then it says, this is an entire page telling you that if it flashes when you turn the power on, which I plug, let me try plugging it in and see if it turns the power on and tells me, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, five. So if it blinks five times, Flashing five times, I mean, the volume is 40 to 50, which is very high. It goes only up to 60. There's 60 steps. So I'm going to click it. You can't hold the volume button down because that'll put it into, if I do this, watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means we're on the brick, brick wall filter because that's this. That's the ability to switch between the, the different filter options. So you can't just hold it to take the volume down or hold it to take the volume up. So now we're on the seventh. Again, it doesn't matter. So you got to push it every time. And now it won't tell me the, if I hold this down, both of these, that light comes on permanently. Now we have line out. Full fuck, which I do not want to accidentally that into my IMs. I'm putting these in. I want to see if I can cry on camera. What is happening? Hold on, I'm excited. This thing is, uh, I, this is my favorite time of review. When you're going to, I'm getting ready to clown on something and then it makes me like tear up. I'm like, oh, up. Oh. Sold. You're selling me. You're selling me. It also came with these little adapter rings, which I've been dying to find a set of these. Um, these are for 4.4 Pentacon, because sometimes the 4.4 Pentacons go too far in and they need to back out. And I need one of these rings because the 4.4 on my Neumann NDH30s go in too far in a lot of shit. They got to back out just a little bit. So I'm going to steal one of those rings. Please don't kill me. All right. Why is it just repeating over and over again? Oh. Apparently that song is borked now. My whole player is borked? Did everything bork? Hold on. Everything may have borked. Re Replugging. Still have four. Oh. 
if I muted it by mistake, but that wouldn't affect it. There we go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this definitely has the best sound quality. Straight up so far. Of all the digital dongle dongle, this is the heaviest, stupidest, weirdest shape. Oh, giving me 100% of these IMs. It's $150 and it sounds like it. Wait. Oh yeah, no, no this, is, this is fucking the winner. This is the winner. I, did, I just needed the opening to, uh... If you haven't seen uh, Occupy Made War, please, please go do. Yeah, no, okay, this one is... Oh man, that Quolos, he's got a high fucking bar. He was gonna walk this... He, he thought he was gonna walk this event. He thought he was gonna walk it, but... Ooh, the muse. The muse came in and shit on his fucking parade completely i'll put you down right there all right moving on to the quolos so here we are with the quolos which i'm going to pause luca stagnoli conquest of paradise um i was wrong it's not 250 dollars. you see this unit only has 3.5 out the balance unit's 250 dollars. this one's 240 dollars. spend the extra 10 dollars just for the fact that you get the 4.4 for convenience sake. So, dual serious logic t chips. Another, an another, another, another one doing dual serious logic. Where'd this come from? If I missed something, did I sleep? Where's my stockbroker? Invest! Because it sounds like the Shio, in that it sounds really fucking good. The problem is, I don't think it sounds as good as the Muse, the heavy-duty fucking murder Muse. That said, this has way more features going into it. So, full fucking screen, which you're not going to be able to see. So, I'm going to put up this picture here. And I'm going to zoom that shit in. So, we have got three buttons. A mode button, which gets you right into the menu where you have your high-low gain, um, your kilohertz, your filter your power filter there's a power filter so if your phone's output is shit there's three levels of filtering it'll do from normal to high to highest i have it on high because it'll murder batteries if you put it on the highest see there it says power filter highest um then you have your digital filter just like everything has digital filters yay um your left fine tune it'll let you adjust balance but instead of calling it balanced it's just left the left channel can get higher or lower a little bit so small that i literally can't really tell it's doing anything but it's nice for people who have hard of hearing or in one ear or not if you have better hearing in your right you can raise the left if you have better hearing in your left you can lower the left i don't know why they didn't just call it balance because i think they're just literally making one the left channel go up and down um you have a display. You can set it to manually turn off the display. You have to hold the button to turn off the display, which means the display will stay on all the time. Um, or you can have it shut off automatically in 30 seconds. You could adjust the backlight, OLED brightness, and then your gain is high or low. I actually have it on high gain. I had it on low gain, and I was getting by. This has 100 levels of volume. What this is missing is the screen to tell me where the fuck that volume is, because it's terrifying. I also should bring back up about this Muse. Because it's probably going to end up in a pocket... It's real dangerous to have it so that if you push both these down, boom, line out, ha, ha, ha. Um, if you hold down this one, it changes filters. Who gives a shit? If you hold down this one, it mutes it. And then unmute it, you have to hit the other side because it mutes a nice fade out mute, but then it's muted. So if you accidentally hold that one, it mutes. If you accidentally hold this one, it's filter. If you accidentally hold both, you die. Just bringing that back up. But yeah, the Quolos here, because Quolos made that dap. I call it a dap. It was the size, it was like, 25% bigger than this, and it was just a unit, the battery that played music. Quolos makes some really good shit. How do I get out of this? Um, I don't know why anyone would get it not in red, and I don't know why anyone would, because this is currently the MC-01 SE, and the MC-01 is literally 10 bucks more and gives you a balanced output. Flagship grade dual DAC chipset. So, because I mean, Serious Logic can't make that high. I mean... If Ibasso is using it in some of my favorite DAPs, I'm, I'm, I might have to invest actual physical energy and money 
into hold on, I'm gonna make it so there's less text covering her, into like serious logic. So on the top shows you your volume all the time. It says 192 right now because it's 192 going into here. Oh, more Luca Stracagnoli, Braveheart. This is only 48. Um, actually, I paused that. Does it go to 192? It doesn't. Anyway, volume is 83 on high gain for these. So it's not like murder powerhouse. We're actually going to plug these in together. I was saving them for you guys. You're welcome. But since we're on 83 and high gain for the costs, I feel like we may come up a little bit short. You can hold the volume down, up to go, which is nice. 90, 95. Yeah, no, this... All right, so this one... I'm going to say this. It is powering it as efficiently as the M3. However, it sounds more clean all right what i said about this one was that it sounded like a class a amplifier class a amplifier is a very specific sound that like smooth things out and warm it up and it's like ah ah but not like smooth things out and warm it up like it's gonna be like like the e1da is doing which because that sounded a little bit too smooth it was like someone put peanut butter on everything this is very clean very technical very accurate. This is like a topping D A90. This is like the A90. And this son of a bitch, this is like the Rebel Amp of like, oh God, everything sounds better on it. Because Muse literally says they did their own tuning to the output stage. Quolos here is clean DAX. Clean, accurate, accurate, clean. And it's pushing these at 95 out of 100 on high gain. I would say, I would say these are performing to their levels, to the proper levels. God, the cyber... If you haven't seen Cyberpunk Edge Runners, don't have to be a weeb. Just because it was made, it was animated in Japan. The story was Croatian, and it was a mixture of characters and arguments and Netflix, and it was like they actually pulled out a beautiful thing. Go watch Edge Runners. Dubbed. Watch it dubbed. Watch it in English. They were made at the same time the lips moved for English. Yeah, no, it's very, very focused on. Here's your sound. You're getting it's very clean. Do you feel you spent two hundred fifty dollars? I felt like it's about two hundred fifty dollars. It was doing great things on the IMs. It was doing good things in the costs. It's just not as fun to listen to as the Muse, which is just the most fun you could have listening to things. Um, accessories it comes with. So you get two cables. You get the this guy here, which is a little braided cable with really nice strain relief ends which I prefer over like the ones that just come straight out. Although, I don't know, it's, it's not good flexibility. You get the, the one for the lightning, the one for the USB-C, you get your adapter. Then you get a little sticky goo gel for like if you want to stick the thing to the back of your phone. And if that's not good enough, you got a fucking magnetic base plate, which you can glue this onto the back using these, you peel these off and there's little, there's little glue tabs under it. And you would stick this to the back of your Quolos, which by the way, this is cut. The specific corners are cut to fit perfectly on your Quolos. And then you would, this would then be magnetic. And then you take this metal sheet and peel that off. And then you'd have legitimately a magnetic base to strap the Muse to your phone. So you know what? It's a better system than most. Most don't even give you a system. It's just a dongle. If you don't want this to dongle, you would adhere this plate uh, to the back of your phone's case because you're not an animal and you keep your phone in a case. You would adhere this soft vinyl thing with a texture to the back of your Quolos. And when you want to go put on your phone, you go boop, and it would just stick there with the little wire coming up. I approve. And it comes with two extra sticky things in case you want to redo your sticky stick stick. So that's nice. Um... I think this is probably worth its money. I'd get the balanced one. If the balanced one did balance amplification, because it doesn't specify for $10 more, you would think it would just like... Number one, if the balanced one has both a 3.5 and a 4.4, who the fuck is saving $10 to not have the option? And it claims one quarter watt a channel out. That's a That's a, that's a headphone amp which is why it's running these right now so good. I would like if this could control, I feel like if they gave it a longer wire than this and you could just control it also, 
would be nice. But I mean, it's that's not its job, baby. You turning on like a virgin? Oh, about to put my phone code in. <laughs> that's loud. Yeah, no, it's it's a, it's a solid. It's solid sounding. It sounds real good. Like real fucking good. But not as good as the M3. That's the winner. I just saved you $100. I I enjoy the Qualos. It it does its it does its job. It's got a nice screen. If this had a screen and was less like, ooh, mysterious, what's happening? And also didn't weigh like I don't know if that's for heat sink purposes. But it's just it's this is the, the best sounding one of the group, the Muse M3. With a curved design. This is this is so in order of the Muse M3 wins for just straight up sound quality, it's hilarious. Um, I probably put the Shio next to it in line simply because it's $69, has volume and high low gain, and the dual Cirrus logics and waifus. So for budget, then the Quellos comes in, it's a good performer. It's as clean as you'd ever want. I'm not a super, if you if you need to go somewhere and listen like without any coloration, you'd pick the Quellos. Or you'd pick the Shio. Honestly, they're both using Cirrus Logic decks. And then at the la at the bottom place would be the E1DA because it's just, I don't know, it's got something weird with it. I, I don't want to spend money on the app. I don't want to fucking have to dick around with it to get it to sound right. It's only a 3.5. Even this is balanced. Like <laughs> these two are not balanced and even the Shio is balanced. And like legitimately has different voltage output, so it is it is balanced. But you know, the big shocker today is this fucking M3. Now, um, if you're a patron supporter, uh, up to ten dollars, you get to go into my private Telegram chat where you have all behind the scenes knowledge. So guess who's gonna find out about the M3 and how fucking stupid amazing it is uh, right now? Them. So yeah, for five dollars a month, you get to see these reviews early, participate in yard sales where several of these will be. And I think my decision for which one I'm, I'm holding on to uh, has been made. But these guys will end up in your hands. If bidding starts at zero, I ship for free, continental the United States and Canada, and anywhere else in the world. Anywhere else in the world. Half shipping. And But keep in mind, even an envelope is probably going to cost about $80 to go to like Zimbabwe. Um, so yeah, for $5 a month, see reviews early, participate in those yard sales where I sell these things, um, get to hear and see losses sound demos. Because the sound demos are no longer on YouTube because YouTube is a pile of garbage. So instead, I'm uploading them privately. I get to use whatever tracks I want, whatever wallpapers I want. There's titties out. I promise you there's titties. Um, unless you don't care about that. You also get to access those in the wallpaper hoard. Wallpaper hoard for the wallpaper. On all wallpapers. Um, $10 a month. Private behind the scenes Telegram chat where I'm going to share this fucking thing. Like, there's no reviews on it. Is no one talking about this? Guess where this is going? Capital, enough Capital Audio Fest. Can Jam New York. I'm bringing this to Can Jam New York. It's going to murder my phone, but I'm bringing it. Speaking of that, my phone's at 40%. I need to charge it. Um, yeah, no. $10 a month. Behind, behind the scenes private Telegram chat. Find out things like, as they happen. And then like as soon as I'm astonished, you get that first reaction. If you're a supporter. Thank you for those people who are supporters, by the way. And once you're in that $10 chat, you get into a lifetime swap meet channel where you can buy, sell, and trade gear. So I, I don't expect to go into the dongle DAC thing and find like this. But this thing fucking blew me, man. Away. Away. Blew me away. Blew me away. Oh, for fuck's sake. 